statement. It says, Then they came to Elim, where there were 12 springs and 70 palms, and they camped there near the water. So, I mean, not a lot of information, but so the story is, Jim and Penny Caldwell, again, after you had Ron Wyatt, and then Bob Cornuk, and, and Jim and Penny were just this low-key couple. They were working in, um, over in Damam for uh, Ramco, and they had two little kids, a boy and a girl, and they just discovered this. They fell in love with it. They would drive over here with their probably old Land Cruiser, and they just would explore sometimes for a week or two at a time. And think about that well before cell phones, like back when adventuring was really adventuring. And they're driving out through the desert and they come to this. So you're working your way down through the wadi, so this, in, this large valley that increasingly narrows. And for what it's worth, as you see these trees right here, these are acacia trees. Mm. So you'll see these like in the Serengeti, very distinct. Um, but this is what the Ark of the Covenant was made from, is the acacia tree. Yeah. So most of them are pretty small, but you'll see some that have a pretty big caliper for, you know, planks and such. Um, so it's just neat just to see, you know, the flora and the fauna that's mentioned in the Bible. But the point is, what's interesting here, is this really Elim? It, it's, for me, it's difficult because that would mean they're sort of tracking back, you know. So, so where we were with, at Wadi Taib is south of Nueva Beach. Mm -hmm. So that's why it, it really wouldn't line up. They would have come at a drastic angle across the Red Sea. So if they had come north, then they would have come down here. It's possible that this is Elim, but what is interesting is if you actually count the wells, you saw some of the wells that have modern, you know, it's concrete, at least as far as I'm at, because I walked it real slowly a couple times, there's, there's a dozen. So in the Bible it says there's a dozen springs and the 70 palms. So it, it does kind of match, the, and it's a possible candidate. Um, the only qualifier, so I'm always kind of, the, the strengths and weaknesses, is that the water is still salty up here. So it's probably not that they were, you know, drinking the water. But it just, it actually doesn't say there. It just says they camp by the water. Mm, yeah. And so it's, it's neat. It's beautiful. So it started up there. You know, all of a sudden you're coming up, you start seeing palm trees. And, of course, in a desert, like, right, an oasis, this is, it's a treasure when you have uh, palm trees. But as you work, you can, we can walk down here. They've only put in these rocks here the past couple of years. So previously, you know, we had just driven down here and come out. Um, or gone to the other end. But just, you know, you can explore around and check it out. We're only gonna stay here. We're gonna, you know, 20 minutes explore and then we're gonna, and we're gonna move on because we're still gonna